Good morning, I hope you are off to an amazing day. I'm so excited because I've got my March menu planning calendar and some really pretty flowers that my sweet husband got me and a candle lit this morning. And I'm about to start making dinner and y'all, I am so excited about dinner tonight. First of all, my daughter is coming home, which is super exciting. So y'all know when you have a kiddo come home from college, it's super fun. So she's driving right now. So say a little prayer for her as she goes. And we are gonna make some corn chowder, which I've never made this before. So I'm excited about this one. And we're gonna make, let me see. Let me pull out my box. We're gonna make, because she's coming home, y'all, we have to have dessert, right? As you're hopping on, tell me what you're making for dessert and tell me what you would serve with this because that's the big question of the day. So I'm making the corn chowder and the bananas foster bread pudding from the Magic Menu Planning Made Easy Boxes. If you wanna look at more at the box and if you need some great slow cooker foods, y'all, who has been making the food this week? It tastes so good. We had the tortellini last night. It was fantastic. And now we're going to hop on and make these two guys. So if you want to join me, click the link in the video. If you don't have this stuff already, tell me good morning. What are you making? Okay. So what would you serve with the corn chowder? My choice is this morning. I may just do a salad because I'm going to do the bread pudding. I kind of thought about that today after I thought, but if you're serving corn chowder, would you sell serve biscuits? These are a couple ideas. Biscuits, other biscuits. Um, this is some bread dough. Y'all, if you've not bought bread dough like this, it's amazing. And I could even do these. I've got like five rolls here. So what would you serve? What do y'all serve with corn chowder? What would you serve? As you're hopping on, tell me good morning. Tell me what you are making. Okay, let's just go ahead, right ahead. Oh, sorry guys. I got y'all a little too far down in the crock pot. Okay, we're going to start with this recipe for the corn chowder. So I need three pounds of a frozen corn and I'm actually a little bit worried now because I just looked at that. I thought it was three cups and now it's looking like it says three pounds, which means I'm going to be going to the store this morning to grab some extra corn because that's not enough corn. I'm going to add everything in, but I'm definitely short on the corn. I may have to go see if I've got some more in my fridge. Let me see. Okay. So we're going to start with the corn. You need three pounds of corn. Hang on. I got to get my list pulled up here. Okay. Three pounds of frozen corn or 15 or ears of corn. Three pounds of corn is what I would encourage you to do. I should have catch that, caught that. Three cups of chicken broth, which is gonna be this whole thing. Frozen grains for sure, you would tell. Don't you love a frozen grains? Are those not the best biscuits ever, Diana? I love the frozen grains too. Then we're gonna do, we need two to three cups of two to three medium size russet potatoes and I'm just gonna go ahead and chop these guys up and we are gonna say peeled and chopped okay so we're just gonna chop these suckers I've already peeled them so what would y'all serve with corn chowder I'm actually gonna make the bread pudding so because I'm making the bread pudding y'all I might just go ahead and do um I might just do a salad and skip bread only because that's a lot of very filling you know what I mean that's kind of heavy and we're all like trying to be slightly healthy. And then I'm making the bananas foster bread pudding, which is totally gonna ruin us, but I'm so excited about it. Um, yeah, what are y'all making? Tell me if you're making anything yummy. Tell me if you've been joining us and if you've been loving the menu plans. Pop these guys in my crock pot. Let's give this guy a little chop right there. And then I'm gonna add in Another one. I just peeled these a little bit ago and they're already turning brown. Let me look at your comments super fast. You would too, but it makes your, your husband doesn't like corn. Yeah, I will tell you, corn is really finicky. Some people love corn, some people don't. If you don't love it, this one may not be for you, but I'm excited to try it out. I can't wait to see how it tastes. Um, okay, I'm just gonna kind of dice these potatoes up. I'm assuming this is pretty good. Potatoes take a long time to cook in the crock pot, so I do want them to be fairly skinny slices. I want them to be chopped. Y'all let me know if you have any tips for sure. I'm excited about those. Those Grand's biscuits would be really yummy, but I really am so darn excited about this, this banana foster bread pudding. I can't even tell you. Here we go. So there's my crock. What is your favorite recipe to make in the crock pot? Do you have a certain recipe that you just love? We made the slow cooker uh, creamy cheesy tortellini last night. Oh my gosh, y'all. It was divine. So yummy. If you struggle with menu planning, y'all, these menus are just so good. I'm afraid that's... Okay, now we're going to do our onion. So now we're doing... 
one large yellow onion chopped as well. You could definitely use a chopper to make this go a little faster. I didn't want to have the extra cleanup. Ah, I don't want to lose a finger on Facebook Live. That would be really bad. That's like my worst nightmare. I should not even say that out loud. Y'all pray I don't lose a finger while on Facebook Live because that would be horrifying for a lot of reasons. That would be bad. That might be a reason to watch. Okay, the other thing I've got here is a teaspoon of dried thyme and dried rosemary. These are actually fresh, so I'm just gonna chop these up a little bit because I had them fresh. My, I went, my Kroger click list sent me fresh instead of dried, which I guess is good. So I'm gonna add those in. Oh, y'all, that smells so yummy. Okay, then we're gonna add in three cloves of garlic. Y'all know I'm gonna use this for my garlic. I feel like that camera is really low. How's that going, guys? Can y'all see that? Okay, three cloves of garlic. And then we are gonna add in two teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. And I thought I had those, but I didn't. So we're gonna do Two teaspoons of salt. And a teaspoon of pepper. And my dog is about to go nuts, I think. We have somebody coming over to look at something on the house. My husband's out front. Okay, there we go. That's it. So I'm gonna add this all in. Now, at the end of the day, it says cover and cook on potatoes. At the end of the day, I'm gonna mix some of these other things. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Once the chowder is cooked, ugh, once the chowder is cooked, I'm gonna remove half, and I'm gonna need, these are the things I'll need for later in the day. Uh, heavy whipping cream, red onion, green onions, fresh lime juice, and some heavy cream. So this is what I'll need later in the day. I'm gonna mix this all together, and then I'll stir in. I'll do that later tonight on Facebook Live so y'all can watch me. Um, if you want to join us now, the other thing we're going to make is the bananas foster bread pudding. Doesn't it look so good? I'm super excited about that one. Have y'all ever made bananas foster bread pudding? I'm going to go ahead and plug my crock in over here. Has anybody ever made bananas foster bread pudding in the crock pot? And do you have a crock pot casserole? Because the crock pot casserole is like the best ever. I'm super, I really, really, really do love my crock pot casserole. I don't use it all the time, but when I do, I'm always like, oh, I love that thing. We're gonna plug this guy in right here. And then I'm gonna pull this bread out to make this. I'm gonna to try to make some more space here. I need some space, I'm cleaning up. You've never had it, you have not, yum. It looks so, <coughs> it looks amazing. It just looks really, really good. So I'm gonna scoot all of my mess over here. This is the Bananas Foster Bread Pudding. Have any of y'all tried these boxes? Have you tried any of our recipes? I would love to hear that. Probably would be best to remove the stem because it would be tough. I'm not sure what that question was. Good morning, that looks so good. You have bananas foster, but I've never make it. Rhonda, let's make it together this morning. I can't wait. Susan, it does sound so yummy. Okay, y'all, let's start it. So what we're gonna do over here is I'm gonna start with my other crock pot. Hang on, we gotta scoop my crock pot right over here. Y'all don't forget to share this if you know someone. Oh, there goes my timer, just in time. Okay, so let's come over here. Hang on, y'all come on over with me as I get my, here's my space. Alexa, turn off. Okay, here's my messy space, y'all. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna pull my bread out of the oven. So I went ahead and I've got a brioche, a brioche loaf that might be sliced this morning. Okay, here she is. Oh, I gotta figure out where to put her. Hang on, y'all. Hang on, I gotta get a hot plate. What kind of hot plate do you use for your stuff in the morning? Where, here we go. I guess, I never have, I'm trying to figure out, have y'all ever, hi in Kentucky, Marla, have y'all ever tried a new space to work in? This, y'all know I recently moved. We moved, my husband's job was transferred and we moved over Christmas um, and I am loving my kitchen, but it is still like, I'm still figuring out where things are at. 
So I feel every day like when I do it, I'm just a little bit lost. So if y'all feel like I look lost, it's because I am lost and I'm still figuring out this new kitchen. I love the kitchen, but it is just laid out just the slightest bit differently than our other one. So I'm figuring it out for sure. Okay, so we are doing the banana foster bread pudding. Let me pull my recipe up. Alexa, turn off. My Alexa is going like crazy. We're gonna take this bread pudding. So this is the brioche that I went ahead and I browned in the, on the oven. So I basically put it in there, chopped it up, let it bake for about 20 minutes at 350 just to get it a little bit more. How am I supposed to? It doesn't say, but I'm afraid not to. I need, this is needs to be a grease slow cooker. I'm gonna grease the slow cooker because y'all know if I don't grease this sucker, I'm gonna have a hot mess of bread. That would not be good. Okay, so here we go guys. I'm gonna spray this guy and then I'm gonna come over. Alexa, turn off timer. My Alexa keeps going off, are y'all hearing that? I hope y'all don't have an Alexa on right now. That may be bad. Now, I am using the casserole crock. You could totally use any type of regular six-quart crock would work. We're just going to pop that in there. Alexa, turn off timer. Okay, we're going to pop that in there. Oh, it's turning it off upstairs. That is so funny. My timer is going off throughout the whole house. Okay. <laughs> One of those things is just going to keep going off. In a medium bowl, whisk together eggs. Then we're gonna add in four cups of half and half. Y'all, this is gonna be rich. Then we're gonna add in a half a cup of white sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, and then we will add one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Y'all, this is gonna be so yummy. Tell me what you're making. When was the last time you made dessert for your family? I We don't make dessert, maybe once a week we make dessert. So that's a little too much. Oh, can y'all smell the cinnamon right there? Can you smell that cinnamon? Oh, so good. Okay, then we are going to add a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Oh, it's, I wish y'all could just come and smell this with me. I wish we had smell-o-vision. Wouldn't smell-o-vision be like the greatest? In a world where we can put the man on the moon, can we not create something that would allow you to smell the yummy things, but only the yummy things from other people's houses? Okay, so we've got the vanilla. Did I put vanilla in? I did not put vanilla in. It's just how much vanilla is it? A tablespoon, so that's gonna be just about all that I have left in there, honestly. Okay, we're gonna mix this all together. You have seven Alexas, so they do they all go off? Yeah, my Alexa keeps going. Did you say four cups, half and half? Alexa, she's seven and typically doesn't listen either, at least not the first time. It would be awesome. I know. Smell-O-Vision when it's cinnamon would be awesome. Smell-O-Vision when it's like something yucky would not be nearly as fun. Oh, y'all, look how... I love looking up and seeing the camera, and I can see how y'all are seeing it. Doesn't that just look pretty and happy? Oh, my gosh. I love the way this looks. I love seeing yummy food. Okay. Good morning, Wendy. So glad to see you this morning. So tell me, have y'all done any of our menu plan boxes and have they been helpful for you? Has it helped you to get dinner made? I was thinking last night, the reason I started dealing, doing menu plan stuff years and years ago was because I struggle, I would eat cereal for dinner, honestly, every single night of the week. And that would be, if it was just me at home, y'all, if it was me at home, I'd be eating cereal all the time. But my husband is a very sweet guy and he likes when we have real meals and we still have one kiddo at home. Um, but even if we, I think in that Reagan is a freshman in high school, in a few years she'll be off to college, which I know is gonna change life a ton for us. But I really love that we have a special time for dinner and having food that tastes good makes us not wanna eat out. Like I honestly, these days, the menu plans are so good. I don't even wanna eat out because the food is just so much better that I could make at home. And I'm like, why would I waste my time, my money, and, every, and when I can make fresh, delicious food at home, my food is, honestly, I cook better than any restaurant. I went out with a friend to eat the other day and I was like, this food just tastes bad. Why would we settle for bad restaurant food? And I, as a kid growing up, we went out to eat every single night um, just because my mom worked really crazy hours. And now looking back, I'm like, oh, I wish she had had something like this. Y'all, I was supposed to mash those potatoes. I just, or I was supposed to mash the bananas. Huh. 
What do y'all think about the mashing, potato, mashing banana situation here? Y'all, I think I'm gonna do it without them being mashed. They'll soften, won't they? Surely they're gonna soften. Are they gonna soften? You received yours yesterday, Suzanne. You had them all, Susan. I love that. That means so much to me. You guys, what am I gonna do? Do I have to mash them? Ugh. I really wanna mash them. It'll be fine. I think it's gonna be fine too, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. Blender, oh, blender. Now somebody's thinking there. Okay, I can do that. Okay, let's see if I can do this. To whoever said blender, thank you. Can we fix this situation here? I don't know if my blender is big enough for that mess. It's gonna be real noisy, you guys, so bear with me. This is, and I'm actually, you know what I'm gonna do. This is my quickie blender. This is not my real good blender. Oh, I gotta put this stuff in. Obviously, I don't use it very often. But this is like for, it's for smoothies and my daughter used it yesterday. So let's just go with this. I totally could do it the other way, but since, <laughs> does anybody else cook like this? I promise y'all I know how to cook. I promise that my family actually likes what I make for dinner. I'm a decent chef, for real. I know you cannot believe that if you watch me on Facebook Live, you're like this girl, is the biggest mess I have ever seen. I am the happiest big mess. I probably am the happiest big mess you've ever seen. I'm pretty content. Um, <laughs> but geesh. Oh, this is gonna be bad, y'all. I've got it too full. <laughs> ah. You know what? If you are a mess, you are in good company. Oh, it just, y'all. Oh, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. <laughs> Every time I set up for Facebook Live, I say, I am going to be prepared this morning. I am not going to do something stupid. And then every single time, y'all, something stupid happens, and I'm like, oh, I'm smarter than this for real. I am here. Here's what I am for you today. If you feel like you are not enough, not good enough, not anything enough, just come on over, girls. Let's be a mess together. <laughs> okay, let's see how she does. Ugh, for real, Laurie Jean. Here we go. I'm gonna push the button. I did it. I made a big, fat, hairy mess. Um, now the worst case scenario would be if this thing opened up. My husband is just outside. I'm sure he's like, what is she doing in there? Thank you. Yep, that blended it perfectly. Okay. Well, that was easy. So when you make your bananas foster, um, make sure you go ahead and... <laughs> Here we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour this over. Are we ready, girls? Come on over. We wanna make sure that all the bread is covered. So if you are like me, as you can tell, your temptation is probably to do things really fast. I still have a few banana slices. I want you to go real slow, which I know is very counterintuitive as a woman or a mom or a business owner because we do everything fast, which is 100% why I'm a mess all the time because I'm always in a hurry. So we're gonna slow down and we're gonna slowly pour because we wanna get all of the bread soaked really well. And y'all, my sweet friend Cherie is the sweetest girl ever and she is taking care of her sweet mama right now you could say a prayer for them. I'd really appreciate it. But I know, Sheree, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. You would do this so much better than I do it. I'm just thankful that you kind of give me some direction around here. Okay, so we want to make sure this is submerged. <laughs> Y'all, what a stinking mess. Um, what kind of bread? So this is brioche bread that's been sliced, and we went ahead and browned it. Okay, that's it. So what do we do next, girls? We're gonna cover this sucker and cook her on low for four to five hours. It will be done when the custard is set. We're gonna allow that to rest, and then look what we're gonna do. We're gonna drizzle it with warm caramel sauce. Hello, life. 
living your best life. And we'll have some ice cream with it and some cool whip. And I wish I could just invite y'all to come over. Anyways, I'm gonna answer any quick questions y'all have and just chat with y'all through this. I encourage you, if you feel like you are a mess today or overwhelmed or discouraged or not enough or not pretty enough, smart enough, quick enough, if you feel like you start to do something in your kitchen and everything falls apart and you make the bread pudding and bless your bread pudding, it just becomes a disaster, just make dinner. Give yourself so much grace. It is gonna taste so good, I'm excited. Taking, taking just a few minutes to plan your life really does make it easier. And if I can do this, you can do it too. This is in, okay, so let me answer any quick questions. This, and you can click the link in the video if you'd like to get any of our menu plans. This is in the men, menu planning made easy, slow cooker volume two. We are making five recipes each week this week. We're picking one of the boxes. So this week we're doing this week, this box. Next week, I believe we are doing the freezer meals. Oh, freezer meals week one is fantastic. Y'all are gonna, Get the freezer box if you don't have it. The following week, we'll be doing the celebration box. Um, we're gonna be doing the vacation menus. The next week, we'll be doing slow cooker volume two, and then we'll do summer. So it's gonna be delicious. I am super excited. If you need the menu plan, if you'll just go visit passionatepennypincher.com, right up on top, I've got a big image that says the menu plans. I want you to do that. It looks amazing, Nicole says, made your, your soup last night and breakfast for kids this morning. I am so glad I inspire you, Nicole. That makes me so happy. I would love to know which y'all, if you do have any questions, I'll answer them, but I think you've got it. Geez, with your planner, I am in great shape. Mary, I love I love hearing that. Listen, just having a little order. The reason I make the planner and the menu plans is because I'm a mess just like you are. April says, looks delicious. You might have to run some extract to the, oh, April says, looks delicious. She might add some rum extract to the warmed caramel sauce. Yum. That sounds amazing. We don't have instant pot recipes, but we do have the, we do have some coming out in the side series this summer. Um, Let's see. Okay, you can still find where to print it off. Nicole, go to passionatepennypincher.com, write a cop across the top. There's a big image at the top that says March menu plan. When you do that, you should be able to get it. What brand? Oh, so this is the brand of the caramel. Terrainy. That's the one I got. Slow cooker volume two, week one is the one we're making this week. Like I said, we're kind of doing a sampling of each of the menu plans. You do not need to buy all five menu plans. If I were you, I would do the bundle deal because it's such a good deal, such a good deal. And I would get the slow cooker volume two. Honestly, I would get slow cooker volume two, summer and freezer probably. The locale box is good too though, y'all. They're all yummy. Um, anyways, you've actually worked out twice this week. Yay, Ashley, I'm so proud of you for working out. I love hearing that. That makes me so happy to hear that. Gina, good morning. Okay, I'm gonna hop off. Are the jar openers? No, Susan, we are still doing jar openers. There's a new, oh, that's the other thing. For those of you who don't know, when you order a product from Passionate Penny Pincher, every month we do a different little thing. It's free. It'll come with you. It'll come. Each design is different. I think, I don't know what the design is this month. I can't remember. Um, these were two past ones. Have an amazing day, Rhonda. I'm so excited for you. Nicole, you are so welcome. Okay, I think we got everything. Oh, Tamara, Tamara, I'm so glad you enjoy watching me live. I feel like I haven't done a good job of live lately, so I needed to hear that because I feel like I've kind of been stinking up my work. So, yeah, we've all gone through a season. You and your company have changed your home. Pamela, I could just hug your neck right now. Thank you for saying that this morning. Patty, the locale, somebody said this morning, they've used the locale box and their cholesterol went down, like so many good health benefits to use in that locale box. So definitely check that out. You would do, Bridget, thank you. Bridget's so good. She would do slow cooker one, freezer and celebration. Okay, Bridget, slow cooker one, freezer and celebration. The freezer and the celebration are so good. Good morning, you love your apron, it looks like spring. I like it too, I got it on Etsy, I love it. Um, you thought that was, I know lots of people thought it was coasters, but it's a jar opener, so you can open a jar really fast like this, which is fun. Thank you, Jean, I appreciate that so much. Y'all are so sweet. Could you use chocolate with the bread pudding? Ooh, Missy, if you like chocolate, I'm gonna, <gasps> y'all, what if you use Nutella? Could you use a Nutella sauce? Could you like make a Nutella sauce with the bread pudding? or chocolate would totally work. Bev, you have an amazing day too, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. I will show y'all an update later in the day when I'm finishing up the corn chowder. Um, so thank you, Jennifer. You love the locale, Nic Nicole? I do love the locale. It's probably the best. And I guess most of y'all already seen, so I'm not gonna show you. We have the easels too. We have lots of fun things. So if you just need some menu planning, hang out with us each morning. Y'all are amazing. 
Thank y'all for encouraging me. I'm just gonna be real honest. Facebook has been hard and we're not seeing a lot of like the, what people, it's been a lot, seen a lot less in people's feed. And I'm trying not to get discouraged. It is a little discouraging some days, so I really need that. And I notice it's not just me. Like there's other girls that have huge sites and huge traffic. There's a couple girls I follow that I'm like amazed at what they're doing. Um, and it's been low for all of us. So when you take time to watch this, it really does encourage us. When will the bundle deal end? Ricky, um, I don't know that it's gonna end super fast. So if you're interested in it, I would grab it. I don't, but I think you're okay. It'll be here for the week for sure. Um, yum for Nutella, Kim, I agree. Corn chowder recipe, please, Tammy. It is in the slow cook Cooker volume two menu planning made easy box. I don't think we had that one posted on the site yet. So you haven't seen the live in so long, Heather. I know it's been so weird. It's like Facebook just isn't letting us be seen and I'm trying not to get discouraged. It's a little discouraging as a business owner, but um, yeah, let's see. You love your live videos. So real. Thank you, Misty. If y'all are home this morning and you're with your family and your kids and life feels overwhelming, or if you're home by yourself this morning and thinking, why am I even cooking anything? Make a good meal for yourself. Now be wise, maybe half the recipe if it's just you by yourself, because this is a lot of yummy food, but um, I'm so encouraged by that. Y'all are the sweetest. Okay. Y'all fed my soul today. So I needed some soul feeding this morning. I don't think I knew I needed that, but I did. So thank y'all for filling me up. I am so crazy thankful for you. Um, I'm so glad you see most of the PPP stuff. The groups do see a ton of stuff. So I'm actually going to hop after I finish this up. I'm going to hop in the supper club group. So for those of you who have one of our menu plans, you know you're in the supper club group. I'm going to just chit chat with y'all for a bit as I clean up this morning and I will talk to you soon. I'm so thankful. Y'all are such a blessing to me. I'm so crazy thankful. Have a beautiful day and we will talk soon. Bye guys.